All right, let's dive into the world of stealth tech, where cutting-edge engineering meets the art of staying invisible. The U.S. Air Force's latest pride and joy, the B-21 Raider, is a strategic bomber that's pushing the boundaries of what stealth can do. Built on decades of innovation, this aircraft is designed to tackle the toughest challenges of tomorrow's conflicts. Today we're unpacking what makes the B-21 a game-changer and how it stacks up in the ever-evolving world of military aviation. Since jet bombers first roared into the skies in the mid-20th century, military aviation has been on a relentless march forward. Each new generation brings more secrecy, more lethality, and more smarts. Back in the 90s, stealth tech got some flack in the US from folks looking to trim defense budgets, but fast forward a couple of decades, and it's clear stealth has rewritten the playbook for intelligence ops and missions deep behind enemy lines. That said, it's not a magic wand. Stealth comes with trade-offs. Speed and aerodynamics often take a hit. Take the F-117 Nighthawk and B-2 Spirit, no afterburners so they're capped at subsonic speeds. Sure, going supersonic is thrilling, but the sonic boom and blazing engine heat light up enemy radars like a 4th of July show. Plus, higher speeds burn through fuel fast, cutting range or requiring bulky tanks, not ideal for stealth. Early stealth planes also wrestled with aerodynamic instability. Keeping them stable required digital fly-by-wire systems, where computers constantly tweak controls to keep things smooth. Another hurdle? Special coatings. Engineers needed materials that could scatter radar waves without adding weight or breaking the bank. Constantly reapplying those coatings after missions was a budget killer, so designers aimed for 85 to 90% of radar reduction through the aircraft's shape alone, with coatings handling just 10 to 15%. The first whispers of a new U.S. stealth project surfaced in 1975, with Defense Daily mentioning a high-stealth 2-inches aircraft. By 1977, Jane's All the World's Aircraft spilled more beans about Lockheed Skunk Works, cooking up a small stealth fighter with low radar, infrared, and visual signatures. The F-117 Nighthawk secrecy was ironclad, tighter than the B-2ES. But after leaks and wild rumors, the Pentagon dropped a blurry photo in 1988, keeping the good stuff hidden. The B-2 Spirit on the other hand, was a bit less cloak and dagger during development, making its advanced technology bomber program more gray than black. Rolled out publicly in November 1988, the B-2 was a marvel. A flying wing with composite materials, advanced avionics, and mission-tunable flexibility. It involved 6,000 companies, 40,000 workers across 46 states, and breakthroughs in 3D design and composite manufacturing. The B-2 proved its chops in 1999 during the Kosovo War, taking out 33% of Serbian targets in the first eight weeks of U.S. action. It pioneered GPS-guided JDAM smart bombs, ditching the old-school carpet bombing of the Gulf War. Later, it saw action in Afghanistan's Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraq in 2003, Operation Odyssey Dawn and strikes on ISIS alongside MQ-9 Reaper drones. By 2001, the Air Force knew the B-2's days were numbered, projecting a need for a new bomber before the 2040s. The next-generation bomber program kicked off in the early 2000s but got axed in 2009 due to ballooning costs and mission creep. Still, long-range strikes remained a priority, so by 2010, the NGB morphed into the Long Range Strike Bomber Program, aimed at replacing the B-52 Stratofortress, parts of the B-1 Lancer fleet, and complementing the B-2, which is set to retire by 2032, with the B-1 bowing out by 2036. The B-52, with its low maintenance and versatile payload, including nuclear cruise missiles, will stick around into the 2050s. In October 2015, the Pentagon tapped Northrop Grumman for the 21 St. Century Bomber, with an initial $21.4 billion contract that could climb to $80 billion. Northrop edged out a Lockheed Martin Boeing team, largely due to cost. By December 2022, a single B-21 was priced at $700 million, a steal compared to the B-2's $2.1 billion tag. The goal? A fleet of 100 Raiders by the late 2030s. At first glance, the B-21 looks like a mini B-2, both rocking that flying wing design. But reinventing stealth isn't about flashy new shapes, it's in the details. The B-21 boasts a higher ceiling, boosting sensor range, easing comms, and sharpening pilot awareness. Operating above 50,000 feet keeps it out of reach of enemy fighters and early warning planes. 
Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin called it unmatched, noting it can strike anywhere without needing forward bases or heavy logistics support. The B-21's range is a standout, letting it slip through anti-access slash area denial defenses stretching thousands of miles. It can loiter in contested airspace tracking targets with every extra mile of fuel counting. Recent photos show a sleek, seamless design with broadband low observable cues. Panel seams are nearly invisible and air intakes, once a stealth engineer's nightmare, blend flawlessly into the wing. Advances in materials and computer-aided design allow massive composite parts with fewer joints, making it easier to coat with radar-absorbing material RAM. Northrop's already rolled out alternate high-frequency material coatings on B2S, and the B21's RAM recipe is a closely guarded secret. The cockpit windows are another stealthy compromise. The front ones are standard, but the side windows are narrow slits, minimizing radar reflections. The B-21's trickiest feature, its recessed air intakes. Northrop's experience with the 1980s tacit blue stealth demonstrator helped here. Managing turbulent air through serpentine ducts to hide engine fan blades without choking the engines is no small feat, especially at high power or sharp angles during combat maneuvers. The B-2 had chunkier intakes with scalloped splitters, the B-21s are subtler, Engine details are hush-hush but many bet on Pratt & Whitney F-135S, same as the F-35. November 2023 test flight photos revealed a smaller weapons bay than the B-2S carrying one massive ordnance penetrator instead of two, but with 100 Raiders planned versus 19 B-2S, quantity has its own edge. The B-21's arsenal includes AGM-181 LRSO nuclear cruise missiles, likely stashed in a dedicated compartment, and swarming drones for extra punch. It's part of the long-range strike family, tied to the next-generation air dominance NGAD 6th Gen fighter program. Both will team up with collaborative combat aircraft CCA drones, with the Air Force eyeing at least 1,000 CCAs. Picture it, 100 B-21S, hundreds of NGAD fighters, upgraded F-35S, and a swarm of CCAs by the 2040S. That's a future air fleet that screams dominance. So, can the B-21 outshine the legendary B-2? It's got the tech, the range, and the numbers to make a strong case. The B-2 broke ground, but the B-21 refines it for a new era of threats. What do you think? Will the Raiders steal the Spirit's crown? Hit up the comments and let me know. If you're digging this deep dive into stealth tech, swing by Control Lost on YouTube, smash that subscribe button, and tap the bell for more. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you next time.